<laughs> but wait, what I'm gonna do? Like a little old man. <laughs> Just so wonderful. Oh, look at that face! Look yeah. at that face. <laughs> Selena, I'm gonna <laughs> Selena, I'm gonna record part of this so that we'll have it for the live on thing. Sure, no problem. Oh, good. Oh. Okay, good. He's, He's falling asleep. Clear, so you can see it another He's falling time. asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the best <laughs> models fall asleep. <laughs> um, now you can focus on what the face. Uh, Selena, we have 38 people looking at, at, wow, at wow, right now. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's a little bored of it. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, can, you, can, you can draw him closed eyes. His eyes are closing. Is yeah. Claire gone? Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about this person. Uh, All right. He's so, also uh, <laughs> so adorable. So, <laughs> so adorable. So adorable. So adorable. The art class too. <laughs> he does look like he's full of sleep. Yes. He is. He's, he's, gonna, he's, say goodbye he's had a long day. Yes. <laughs> okay. He works very hard. <laughs> yeah. Go so on, my friend. Go get some rest, little one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, Selena, Selena, I have plenty of pictures of him. So yeah. if he if he wants to take a nap, and if you want to draw, <laughs> if you want to draw, you need you need some small pieces of paper. Okay, and, thank and, you. I and have draw, it and draw with See anything. Your big eyes. <laughs> oh, there are those eyes. There are those <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Oh, look at you. You woke up. Look at his eyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So look at his ears. Look at the, the yeah. directional lines. We're going to be drawing yeah. those directional lines today. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Oh. He's got a little, oh. you know. It's like a little page boy kind yes. of. Yes. <laughs> Very symmetrical. <laughs> He's the sweetest dog. What are they all huh? It's, it's a Shih Tzu. It's a, it's a little what Shih Tzu dog. dog. He's a Shih Tzu dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he's sleeping now. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Wake up, little one. I know. What happened? Oh, where? Oh, I know. Well, that's what I found it's out. Snap time. Is snap time. No, I well, I was going to say goodbye, but her eyes were closed as though she yeah. was sleeping. No. <laughs> so, yes. So I was looking at Fufu. Yes. And they just said that Fufu was going to sleep too. Yes. <laughs> was he there alive? Yeah, Fufu's yeah. there. Yeah, if you go yes. on. So you can see him. Yeah. yeah. See? <laughs> I'm going to get him a treat, treat to wake him up. So stay okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because she looked like she was very peaceful. Okay, but she was talking a lot, though. She was good. Good, yeah. Okay. Is that is that Sister Claire? Okay, right. I know. Thanks, Claire. Is that Sister Claire? I hear, I hear Sister Claire's voice, but I don't see her. Hey. She said she hears your voice. I hear your voice, yeah. Sister Claire. Um, April. She hears my voice? Yeah, but she can't see you. A turkey tender. I know. We don't like to show you. I don't know. Wait. I don't think so because I'm not. I'm just over the internet. I don't have any, you know, any voice. Okay, guys. I don't know. You want to start? Yeah. I, I think we should probably start. Okay. So Fufu is so. I'm, you know what? Can I just make a suggestion? Because there's so much noise going on. I think you're going to have to mute people while you're showing them what to do because it's so yeah. much noise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've I've muted all of you. And, uh, but I still have Fufu uh, spotlighted. Fufu just got a little treat to uh, help him stay awake <laughs> because he's having trouble staying awake. Okay, um, so welcome. Uh, some of you are new faces and uh, nice to see you all. And what a fan base Fufu has. <laughs> Look at this. Got, we've got all these people. Okay. Oh, and one more is coming too. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. 
And you know what? I'm just so you know, I can let people in. So I can, I'm, somehow it's oh, working. Oh, okay. Now. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Margie, are we already recording? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we've got Fufu. Um, and uh, what a face. Uh, what can I say? What a face. So this photograph was just so adorable. I, I saw it on, I don't know, I guess on one of the newsletters and it was the face. <laughs> We're going to draw the face today because what a face. So um, we want to kind of capture the whole, I'm going to give you step by step. I don't usually teach that way. For those of, of us who, uh, those of you who are new here, I don't usually do, okay, now we're going to do this, now we're going to do this. You know, it's, it's usually a little more creative than that. But, uh, but this is going to be a step by step with variations as usual. And what I think will help you with my lesson today right now is if you take your hands and you you put the uh, the space between the index finger. Let me um, highlight, spotlight my video, um, so maybe you can see what I'm doing. If you take your your uh, put your index fingers together and your thumbs together and kind of see the shape of the face, so that maybe your top fingers are sort of on top of his head and your lower fingers are down near his bottom jaw. And you can kind of see the shape of those ears in, in that, that negative space that you're making. And we're actually going to, for those of you who want this extra help, we're going to use that space between the hands to help you draw a good shape. If you don't need it, then you don't need it. But if you do, then you know a lot of you have extensive drawing training. Some of you have been to the Art Students League. Um, you might not need this, but it's kind of helpful. So it was the shape of his face that, that gave me this idea for this class that I bet I could teach anybody how to draw this dog because of that. It's almost a diamond shaped face, except not pointy. He's, you know, it's rounded, it's like a rounded diamond. Um, He's a diamond. <laughs> Selena already knew he was a diamond. So anyway, that's what we're going to base this drawing class on. So I'm hoping, so there's that diamond shape that I'm talking about. So if you have your, your hands like that. So this is to point out that it's not a pointy diamond. It's, it's um, so don't get too caught up in the diamond idea. It's, it's kind of a rough, a rough shape to keep in mind. Um, I'm hoping that you have a lot of four by six paper. Uh, I'm hoping that you'll do more than one. I've done, uh, I've done several so far um, in different stages just, just to share with you. And, but I took photographs of them. I'm gonna show you what I did. And to start, like we're ready to start. So if you have your four by six paper and you hold it like that. And if you're, if you're right-handed, hold your left hand in the bottom corner, but you're not making a 45 degree angle. You're making that kind of bent in angle. And you're gonna draw that. And if you're right hand, if you're left-handed, then do it on the, the bottom right or the top right, doesn't matter, corner to get that shape. And that's the shape of his little ear. Even with this haircut, it's that it's that kind of a shape. So uh, this is a, and I would so that this doesn't get too boring. I'm going to go through all of the slides right now. There are only 20 slides. I'm going to go through all of them right now, and then I'll come back to the step by step. And this is for those of you who might not need all of this step by step stuff. So okay, so we're starting like that. And then we're gonna do the other side as well. So we're gonna come back to this. So don't worry, don't worry. If you need to unmute yourself, um, hold the space bar and just talk while you're holding the space bar. So we're gonna do that and that. Notice that I'm not closing the top or the bottom. Then we're gonna add the eye. So in the bottom right here, you see where the eyes and nose are gonna go. If you need a guideline, get out two pennies and two dimes and that'll help you with eyes and nose. And you can kind of figure out, does it look right? Do the eyes look like they're in the right place? And you move the pennies. Okay, so we'll be back. Then you get that. 
And then we're gonna start those directional lines. Now, just now, Selena showed us his cute little ears and how the, it's kind of longer hair, longer fur, hair, a fur, I, <laughs> longer. It's long, the, uh, the things are longer on, the uh, hair's longer on the ears. And so these are directional lines. And being able to follow the directional lines will help you draw this adorable dog. So, and then bit by bit, we're gonna keep adding and we're gonna be looking for directional lines. And then we're going to figure out where to fill in the eyes. And I'm gonna have you leave little spots so that when you fill it in, you'll have kind of a highlight. And then it, I think I've just sort of darkened the directional lines here. And I'm just using whatever pen I had around. And then I'm gonna add more directional lines. And I happen to know that he was gonna dress in a bow tie today. So we'll also uh, take a look at how to draw a bow tie. And that's, that can be a finished drawing right there. Okay, so another version um, showing the directional lines and the a more solid bow tie. A bow tie is just, you know, triangles. Uh, connected in the middle, but covered with, you know, the part uh, where, where the tie goes, and that can just be a rectangle. And for those of you who know about my bok choy roses, I saw this bok choy and I thought, oh, I think it's fufu. <laughs> so, so here's a stamp of a not, it, I wouldn't make as good of a bok choy rose, although I think I could make it happen because it was kind of tied in the middle. But those two little end parts looked so much like the shape that I thought I would try to work with it. And so this is my drawing on top of the bok choy fufu stamp. So. Anyway, and then I just kept adding to it. And over here on the right, I've added to it with a black watercolor pencil. But if you had charcoal, even if you had some eyebrow pencil that you didn't like, like you bought a bad brand, draw with it. It's a great thing to draw with. And so here, what started out as a bok choy stamp um, with, you know, added uh, watercolor and added watercolor pencil. Okay. So I just went crazy with fufu here, you know, as much as I could get of fufu. And I just kept adding to it and like noticing where fufu has like darker areas or whatever. Uh, here's a pen and ink one where um, I was still trying to figure out the directional lines. I wanna show you this that I think is maybe slightly less successful than that first one I showed you, just to show you that sometimes it takes a little practice and that's why I'm hoping that you have more than one sheet of paper. And then Selena would love to see any of these pics. So if you can photograph them and send them to her, I'll have this again at the end. So, so also Fufu -Fu okay. has a page, has, has his own page on the website. So we oh, could well. feature all of these pictures on the website. From oh, his fans. That, oh, that would be so fun. And uh, Fufu shows up on the RSS Instagram all the time. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, let's see if it lets me go to the beginning. Okay. So now we're going to do the step-by-step -step thing. So if you're an expert drawer and you don't feel like doing this, you know, trace your hand thing, just draw. I have all of these slides are in my Google Classroom. So you can just go there and all of this is there and you can do whatever or just follow along and have a good time. So I'm assuming that you might have done this part already. So I'll just go to the next slide. So um, let me know if you still need more time on just this. And this is just a way to start to help you get this shape because the next one is going to be this. So. So I'm gonna leave it on this for just a little while so that you can get the placement. So your two hands were on either side and sort of the, you know, the skin between your thumb and your forefinger makes a great shape for the end of his ear. Oh, look at him now. Okay, wait, I have to highlight. Fufu is asleep. And those of you who just want to draw Fufu asleep, um, take a look at him and um, I'm going to stop the share just for a second. And if you want to, if you feel like putting it on speaker view and taking a screenshot 
oh, he woke up. He heard, <laughs> I'm not asleep. <laughs> he heard his name. <laughs> Did you hear your name? <laughs> so if you feel like taking a screenshot of the real thing, uh, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to my share in a minute. So it's so nice that, he, that he's here. Oh, going back to sleep again. So I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay. Now I think I'll, let's see, do I want his eyes open or close? Close. Very cute. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my sharing screen. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Our little star of the show. Well, yes. He's always the star of the show. You know, you just go in the senior center and there's foo foo coming up and greeting you. All right. So, um, <clears throat> So I'll give you a little time for this because a couple of steps are on this same slide. So, um, and then after we do this, you can show me your work. Um, if you're not sure what to do, maybe something needs to be darker or something, but what you're trying to do is take up pretty much the whole four by six sheet. And the heavier the paper, the better. If you have watercolor paper, that's a wonderful thing. If you have nice drawing paper, if you have any paper, it can be any paper. And, um, but four by six is a good size. It works out with the hands. It's sort of almost the actual size of his face. Wouldn't you say? Maybe he's a little bit bigger than that. So we're drawing it maybe tiny. Yeah, we're drawing it smaller than him because I'm holding a drawing now. So it's, it's smaller, but uh, you can just kind of imagine yourself cradling his face there. And it's, it's, I'm, I've done it quite on the diagonal because I thought it would, uh, first of all, he has a cute little tilt to his head in the photograph, but it's also to help anyone who's a beginner drawing, a beginner at drawing kind of, you know, find the placement on the page. And I didn't go exactly corner to corner. I left a little space so that there can be a little more room on the right there to add his little bow tie. If you've gone closer to the corner, it'll still work out okay. And if he gets bigger on the page and part of him is cropped, it's still going to look okay. So you can't go too wrong here. And if you're having any issues, you let me know because, um, it might be time to move to the next one. So you let me know if that's already too fast. You have to hold the space bar down and let me know because I think I'd like to take us to this one or th this one's probably better because then, then if you're still on the directional lines, the directional lines, are prominent here. Notice I didn't draw the top of the head yet. You don't have to. You can leave that till later. I think on one of my drawings, it's you know sort of almost empty up there because his hairs are light up there. So in this drawing, it it helps you with the directional lines, and then those funny shapes on the eyes are just for highlights. So if you're whenever you're ready, I'm going to come back to this one. I promise. But in case you're, some people will fast, in case you're already up to filling in, you fill in everything except for those little shapes. So that's going to be after that. So I'm going to leave it on this for a little bit um, in order for you to catch up. And I hope you're trying a variety of mediums. I hope that you are, um, oh, and Selena, I can send you these slides also if, you, if you'd like them. Yeah. And, um, I hope you have a couple of different sheets here. If you happen to have, you know, that nice bamboo pen with, with the brown ink, you know who you are um, from Van Gogh. Uh, this would be, it would be fun to use that for this project also. And I do encourage you to try more than one. And I've probably said that too many times. Try a pencil one, try if you have any kind of ink, um, if you want to try it in watercolor, it, you approach it the exact same way. If I was doing this in watercolor, I would still make these directional lines, maybe with a flat brush using, you know, the thin edge of the brush to get the directional lines. And if you've got some bok choy, 
uh, <laughs> you could have foo foo in the middle of roses. And if you're not sure about, I'll show you my bok choy roses for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when I stop sharing the screen. So directional lines, we talked about this with landscape when we did landscapes of, we've talked about it several times. There, it's a very, very handy thing to keep in mind. And particularly for hair, like even if you're doing, you know, actual hair, you, you want the direction that the lines are going. If you're doing grass, um, if you're doing waves in the ocean. So this sets the direction of the lines for those nice little long hairs that he has on his ears. We won't say his name because we'll wake him up. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> so, and um, and then and then that kind of mustachey, you know, cheek cheek shape, you know, the shape, the roundness of the cheek, and then the exaggerated eyebrows combined with eyelashes. It's like he's got eyebrows, eyelashes, all you know, one turns into the next. So. This will just kind of get you started with that. And let's see if I've added, okay, so I've just kind of darkened them here. And he always has like a little starburst around his nose that I noticed um, in the direction of the hair. And you see this drawing has really gone pretty much to the edge and that's fine. You know, a cropped portrait is, is just fine. And there's still room for a little bow tie if you want. I wrote it, but I didn't emphasize it with my voice that when you first started drawing it, you were supposed to draw with dotted line. And so here I see that the dotted line still shows, but that will go away. That's why you make it dotted. It'll just kind of blend in. So I, I did not emphasize that when we were tracing the inside part of our, our forefinger to thumb. So if, um, if you made a solid line, it, it'll be a little harder to disguise it unless you have a material that erases or that melts with water. So if the dotted line shows, it, it won't for long. I'm just going to take a peek at the next one in case I think it will be helpful to some people. Okay, I think this would be, I think I should leave it on this one for a while because some of you are faster and have more experience. And this kind of shows more directional lines. It also shows how as you're doing the directional lines, uh, the markings on his face get darker between the eye and the nose just a little bit. And then those kind of eyebrows and eyelashes. And then if you're up for the bow already, and then that kind of mustache, his chin is very, very light. He's got like a little, little, very white chin. And so you can leave that blank. I just put kind of a little fuzzy jig jaggy line on the bottom of his chin to indicate that's the end of the chin. And then I'm leaving it white. Uh, his little mouth, he's got, you know, little indications of fur right under the mouth. The mouth is very small. And, um, and then those kind of uh, a few darker streaks around the, between the nose and around the side, you know, kind of cheek area. He's so cute. And I felt like this was maybe the last drawing I did today. And I like it the best, you know, like each one got a little bit better as I got more accustomed to his face. Now for the bow, I, I wanted to make sure that it didn't blend in and look fur-like. And so that's why I have lines going in both directions. And I'm usually using squiggly lines. And um, if Fufu had curlier hair, I would have tried to make the curls with the letters F-O-O, 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 like in handwriting. 
Um, you might be able to do something like that on the bow. Uh, you can write foo foo all over the bow just to also you want to you want to keep it different than the linear directional lines of the fur on his face. So anything to make it different, you can make a little polka dot bow, you can make little hearts all over the bow, um, but uh, give him a bow tie, you can put a color on the bow, but you wanna keep it separate. For the eyes and the nose, I just really scribbled to get the darks. And you could go darker than I did. You can go more solid than I did. I guess, yeah, I left, uh, I left a little bit of light in the eyes, but he has deep eyes. His eyes are so deep. Um, pools, they're deep, dark pools. Um, you can really fill it in except for the highlights if you want to. It's a, it's a stylistic decision, I would say. And you don't have to worry about a neck or anything. Now, let's just see if I did anything. Uh, okay, uh, I guess I left, I'm looking at my actual drawing. Yeah, these little couple of dotted lines still show and it doesn't interrupt too much, so. So I'm hoping that at this point you are happy with yourself and your drawing and that you're maybe surprising yourself and, um, and that you're feeling successful about your drawing or painting. And that I hope it's fun and not frustrating. April, this is Judy. I was wondering, how did you fill in the eyes? It, it, it just looks scribble. Like I just scribble, 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 scribble. I did little, okay. I just kept changing my stroke. So and different directions. I did. It, it was all different directions and I didn't worry about it. And your own stroke will come through. So some of us have more curvy lines, some of us might go straighter and it will all work out because it's really about value. If you squint your eyes, what's dark, what's medium, and what's light? Mm -hmm. so, so, the, so the eyes and the nose are the darkest, and then yes. the medium is maybe the tie. I'm not sure. Yes, I would say yes. I would say so. The tie you can make dark, light, or medium. You have you can do anything with the tie. You can make patterns, but on his little face, the the prominent, like even look at his. Let's see. I let me see if I still have. Selena spotlighted. Okay, so I've spotlighted Selena. Um, even with his eyes closed, it's it's eyes and nose are the darkest and the mouth just, you know, like a little bit of a line. But if you squint your eyes and look at him, he's just all eyes and nose. Oh, such cute eyes. Deep pools. He's like, why do you keep waking me up? <laughs> Poor Fufu. <laughs> Fufu wants a nap. So, um, so yeah, Judy, don't worry about it. You could write your name a zillion times inside the eyes. You can write foo foo. You can scribble. You. you can go back and you know really anything. You could have foo foo could have all stars in his eyes. You could do stars over stars over stars over stars, and it, it that might look kind of fun. So anything to kind of fill it in, and you can go as solid as you want. I didn't go super solid. But it's good you asked because that means other people are thinking the same thing that they didn't want to ask. So April, Joanne. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joanne. Hi, this took like five minutes. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, wait, yet. wait a second. I'm lo I'm looking for you. Um five minutes. I know it does this does not take long. Yes. Oh, how cute. Okay. He's looking good. I'm gonna stop the share just for a sec. Um, because I have a feeling some of you might want to show, oh, look how cute, look how cute. Yeah, it doesn't take long. It really does not take long. So what size is your paper? Is it five by seven? 
Uh, roughly no, six, six by eight, eight. Ten and a half. Okay, so even larger, so he's maybe life size almost. Very, very cute. Wait, hold him up again. Okay, so uh, are you is this crappy eraser that didn't really erase, it created pink strokes. That's okay too, isn't it? Um, okay, I thought I saw pink, but I thought it was maybe something no. happening with the light. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, okay. All right. Well, pink foo foo. That he, was it. It didn't work. Foo foo, uh, foo foo went to one of those uh, special places that gave him a little bit of a pink thing, but it totally yeah. worked. It totally worked. So, do you feel like doing another one with a different medium? Maybe ink. No, or one's maybe, enough. Maybe your pen and ink. I would like another class using pen and ink. At some okay. Point. Well, this is one. This is one. <laughs> Just dip. I saw in. that one. It was very good. Okay. So, oh, okay. We've got more coming up over here. So, oh, um, pearl, pearl. pardon me. Pardon me. Oh, I thought you said something. Okay. All right, Linda. Linda's got foo foo. Okay. All right. You did a great I, job with foo foo. I got two of them. I see that. Adorable. Oh, very nice. Okay, and you've got his name on there. Yeah, right, this on this one, I could only get, because of the way I started out, I could only get part of his bow tie. <laughs> that's okay, too. Yeah, no, that that's not a problem. Yeah, that's totally not a problem. Okay. I love the eyelashes. Oh, I love his eyelashes. Uh, yes. Wait, Emma, I'm coming. I just, I took me a couple of seconds to get you on. Look, okay, Fufu, it looks like you're going to make a greeting card. It looks like the top is going to fold over. Okay, Emma, yeah. I think you could go, you could get just a couple of more uh, directional lines. And I think his eyes should be as dark as his nose. And then see what okay. happens. His eyes should, on for everybody, the eyes should be, uh, you can't tell with his eyes closed, but on the photograph with his eyes open, his eyes are super dark and, um, and uh, you don't want the nose darker than the eyes. You, I think we want to look at the eyes first. Um, Liz, you were, you were going to show something, I think. Yes. Okay. Oh, isn't he cute? Okay. All right, well, I'm happy with these drawings. Um, you're doing great. All right, uh, wow, okay, Karen Benzer, and then I'm gonna go to Sue. Oh, Karen, <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> He's such a cute dog, oh my gosh. Okay, Sue, okay. Selena, are you happy with this or what? Look at this, look at all of these adorable, yes, okay. It's you perfect, got... they are so wonderful, thank you. you. Right? Yeah. You really... Okay, so <laughs> Sue, I love, I love the blue tie and, um, and you got the directional line, so mm -hmm. that's, that's a he's so, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute, he's so cute, okay. Thank you. Lena, thank you. Okay, so Lena, let me. Oh, Lena. Oh Lena. my gosh, that's so gorgeous. Cute. So cute. He is cute, doesn't he? Adorable. <laughs> he's adorable. Cute. He yes. likes it. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, God. Um, okay, everyone is very successful here. Okay, Amy, I see you. Okay, and then Stella, I'll be right back to you. Oh, look. Oh, my cute. God. Look wow. at those eyes. See, he's wow. all eyes. He's all eyes. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Adorable. Wonderful. Nice highlights too. Yeah. Very nice highlights. Wow. Okay, great. Okay, Stella, you wanted to show. Yay! Foo-foo! Oh. Foo-foo! <laughs> so cute. Oh, so yeah. so cute. Delightful. So cute. Okay. Now, yes. My Go. Oh, my Van Gogh thing is not brown. It's ruby. Can I still use ruby? It's ruby, it's red? Yes. The it's ink ruby. is red? Wow. Yes. They, that's what I, they, I sent you, they sent you the wrong one. Oh my well, gosh. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. Um, but could I make him a red pup? I could make him a red Why pup. not? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> and add some hearts. Yes, yes, yeah, no problem oh, add some with hearts. that. Thank you. Yeah, um, Rhea, are you trying to show? 
Oh, look, oh. look how cute. Okay, you know what I love? I love seeing everyone's hand in this, yeah. um, that, that everyone has a different way of putting the marks down. And, um, and that's uh, a beautiful thing. It, and they're all just slightly different because you know you have your own way of doing things. Is there anyone? Okay, everyone's very successful. Is there anyone who needs help? You're. <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> You're great. Oh, Jane, look at this. Okay. Oh my god. So cute. So cute, Jane. And, oh, 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 that is cute. Okay, nice and bold. That's <laughs> lovely and wow. bold. All these wow. beautiful portraits. Okay, Pete, you did too. Let me look. Oh Yay. Oh, Pete, oh. look at that. Oh, That's I'm amazing. glad you used the brown ink. See what the brown ink does? And then uh, you've got um, like a checkerboard tie. I really like that. Okay, Pete, I'm curious. Is the brown one the latest one? And the other one was your first try? Oh, yeah. The other one was uh, actually a couple of weeks ago. And, oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. That pencil today, I just uh, ink. Uh, this one is the latest one. Look what practice does. I see a huge improvement. I mean, it, that's just, oh, he's just adorable. He's just adorable. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, well, I'm thrilled. Wow. Okay. I knew it would go quickly. Anybody else? If you're trying to get my attention, I don't see you. Please speak up. Otherwise, I am okay. Victoria, all right. Wow. Let me spotlight you. Oh, so cute, so cute, <laughs> so cute. Do do you want to leave it, or do you want to add a bow tie, or do you just want to add foo -foo with I, the I bottom? I'm gonna leave it. You can leave it. You can totally leave it. Yeah, it totally works. It yeah. totally works. Very nice. Very nice. You got the proportions of the eyes um, just right. Oh, so cute. This is the pencil room. Yes. It, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, it's a, a, on the camera, it comes up a little light, yeah. but but I can see it, but I can see, and I can see your directional lines and your proportions are good. It's all about proportion. I think everyone did a great job with purport, with proportion. Oh wait, Victoria, is that a nut? You did three? No, 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 this is the oh, first one. So that's you... the first one. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, very nice. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Are you Are you happy with it too? Yeah. Okay, good, okay. All right, look at this, Joan. Okay, oh, he's cute. He's a cutie. And then I did this. Oh, you did too? Oh. Yes. Okay, hold it just a little bit back. Do you have a dog named Cooper? Oh, uh, it... grandchildren do. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, they're going to love it. Oh, the... And it's also a shih tzu. It's a shih tzu? Cooper's a shih tzu? Um... A calva, but it is, it's similar. Oh, they're, so, they're so similar. They're so similar. Oh, so cute. Oh, they're going to love that. Oh, they're going to totally love that. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, thank you. Such fun. Okay. Yeah, it, this was fun. This was, the, we just did it for fun, you know? It is a lot of fun. But it's fun because it's foo-foo. And we, yes. miss, we miss seeing the real foo-foo. We miss being able to pet Fufu. We are seeing a real Fufu. But <laughs> you know, Fufu's like, stop saying my name. I have to open my eyes <laughs> then because, because, because that's my job. <laughs> so, he has to wake up. <laughs> oh, does he have to wake up? <laughs> that's okay. He really enjoyed everyone. Thank you so much. I mean, he feels so special right now. Aww. Aww. Well, we're glad he was able to come and make his appearance. Yes. And uh, so, okay, so Linda's going to show us another one. Oh, oh wow. Cute. Oh, cute. Now, is that the pen and ink? That's the pen yes. and ink. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Everyone who, if you have a dip pen and if you have that ink, um, wow. give it a try because it's a great color because it's like a, you know, a deep brown. And you know, Fufu's not exactly black and white. So that little bit of brown in there 
um, is very foo-foo like. So, and those are, those are great supplies. You should keep trying them. They might come in handy uh, when we do the camel tomorrow. So ah. I only wish, my only wish is that I could get a bok choy to be the shape of a camel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So far, <laughs> that's it worked. So I'm not gonna. I don't know how I'm gonna do the uh, the camel yet. But excuse me, excuse me. Tonight and tomorrow. Have you, Hi, Stella. April, have you gone on Google? They have hundreds yeah. of camels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, plenty of camels. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna All send kind, some you know, toy cartoon camels and regular yes. camels. Two hump yes. camels. Good. I'm glad you okay. looked, and I'm oh, going to send. Oh, I love Google. Google. I have is to a new encyclopedia. Isn't it great? It is. It is. So go I on agree. Google. I agree. And also, also, I don't know if you could see this. Oh, great! They oh, I heard this. about this. I heard yeah, about they this. They found all these coffins. Yeah, there's a and Netflix the on it. Background. Yes, yes, that's the Saqqara one, the Stepped Pyramid. I, there's a whole Netflix special on that one. It's Ooh. so good, yes. Um, I have to send the email for tomorrow about Egypt and, um, and I'm gonna put some of those camels you're talking about because there's you know, different, different ways of drawing the camel. I think what I have in my mind, I'm trying to come up with, and I don't think it's gonna, quite be that way like you know like the carrot people like a camel carrot cam carrot <laughs> camel but it's uh yeah but there's plenty to practice so I have to send that email like after this so hopefully you'll get that tonight and then we'll go back to Egypt tomorrow and and finish so um Renee hi I wanted to show my little old man oh good let's see your little old man Paris but he looks All right, let's see. Neat. <laughs> really? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, so cute. See how cute? Okay, so you have charcoal, and that worked out very nicely. Very, very cute. I love the sketchiness of it. And are you feeling better? Uh, you are muted, so I can't hear you. You have to hold the space okay. bar. A little better, yeah. A little better. Okay, good. All right, good. Glad you made it. Okay, so, um, all right, so let's see. Anybody else? All right. Hello? All right, someone trying to get my attention? How do I do to get on? Um, Roz is is trying to get your attention Ross Sokolov. okay oh okay thank you for telling me um i'm looking Roz, Roz, Roz. um Roz, talk a little bit and maybe i'll get a yellow square around your oh i'm talking Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. Yeah. See, then the yellow square comes up and then I can find you easier. There you are. Hi, Roz. I have it. Watercolor. Okay. Let me see. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. He's very, very cute. All right. Very nice. He looks like he's been held. He looks like what? Okay, I tried. He's he's uh, he's he's so cute. You you know, cute is cute. So um, and I I encourage everyone to do more than one because you'll be amazed at at what happens. You improve. You, you like suddenly like get, you know, something changes, maybe the proportion or, or, you know, the darks and mediums and lights. And then you get to try a new medium as well. So uh, let's see. Okay, so I saw 
Sue, I saw Karen. Um, Carl, everything good? Do you, do you feel like sharing? Hi, Carl. How'd it go? You don't have to share. I just want to say <laughs> hi. Oh, so cute. So cute. <laughs> so cute. I'm Very working good. on something in charcoal. Oh, good. Good. Yes. Okay. Terrific. Okay. Fufu is uh, a great subject. What can we say? Great subject. Hi, Clarice. How's it going? Oh, uh, oh, oh you did so God. many. Oh, I love the polka dot tie. Oh, very nice. Good directional lines. Really good eyelashes and eyebrows. Very nice. And you, she did too. It's always, it's always a good idea to do to do more than one. Oh, how fun. Okay. All right, Liz, I got to see you. I'm just going down the list here. Joan, I saw you. Jane, I saw you. Pete, Linda, Roz, I saw you. Stella, um, Ursula, did you want to show anything? Oh, Stella's got another one. Wait, oh, Stella, you've, you, okay, let's see how it looks in red. He looks good in red. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay, you're Stella. You're you're muted, so I can't hear you. You have to hold the space bar down while you talk. Don't get ink on your keyboard. <laughs> oh, don't get ink. Right, right. Um, I use it. I made a mask. I was um, a, a what was I? A dinosaur for Halloween. And I made a mask for using this on the mask. It worked beautifully. Oh, good. I'm sorry I washed the mask, so I washed it off, but but I love using this. This. Oh, what, good. I'm glad. I'm yeah, glad. Yeah, the ink. The yeah. ink is fun. It's fun. Yeah, the ink I is can great. Oh, do you know there's a new, have you seen, heard about the Van Gogh in France now, what they've done? They, they opened this big museum and they put them on like digital or something. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Luminaire, uh, let's see, uh, Atelier Luminaire, or Luminaire something. Yes, yes. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, coming to Indiana. Oh. Really? Yes, they're, they're opening it up at the Lilly Museum, which has a new name called New Fields in, India, in Indianapolis. I wonder why it's going to Indianapolis yeah, before New York. Because they bought it. <laughs> Oh, they bought it. Okay, Emma, very cute. Very, very cute. I decided okay. to um, do some um, some of the ink over marker. And mm -hmm. then watercolor. Yeah. Like a whole bunch of things in there. You can totally mix up the media. Yes, yeah. It, it, was, it looks like Fufu's head on her body. <laughs> So oh, cute. oh, be oh, because because you're holding it in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, there we go. That's <laughs> good. Next <laughs> Halloween, we know what to do. Um, Mary Platt, are you okay? Everything's good. Haven't seen you for a while. Nice to to see your name. <laughs> Judith Kramer, are you okay? Okay, and I'm fine. Good. You're good. Do you do you feel like showing or telling? Okay. And uh, Rivka, I have you next. If you feel like showing or telling, or Chris or Kristen, Tom, not sure. Do you feel like showing or telling? Or let's see. Okay, Rochelle, hi. You don't have to. It's okay. Uh, I just don't want to ignore you. So hi. And hi, Loretta. Hi, Linda. Hope all is well over there in Fufu land. <laughs> hi, Linda. Oh, Linda's going to show. Okay, here hey, we you go. go. <laughs> very cute, yeah. very cute. Very okay. Having, having lots of fun. <laughs> Good. Yeah. It's all about the directional lines. Once you get that, you just get the whole thing down. So 
That's really good. Okay, Connie's iPad, you okay? You feel like showing anything? All right. Where do you want? Where do you want us to send this? Oh, okay. So I will. Um, let's. Okay, let me go back to share screen. And okay, so. Um, there's my bok choy little guy. And here's where you can uh, take a photograph and send it to Selena. She would love to see all these versions. And we can put them on the website because Fufu has a page. Yeah, so that means, Selena, you're going to have to send me everything you get. Sure. I'm looking so forward to it. And he loves it. He's, he's definitely a star. So I so <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah. So fun. He woke so up. Fun. He just woke up right now. He's awake. <laughs> he heard the word star. Are yes. you talking about me? <laughs> Are you talking about me? <laughs> He's a celebrity right now. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to stop recording.